Well, good afternoon, and this is Pastor Hayton and another Lower Life's devotional. Just a little while, we're going to have a lovely group of our friends and church family that's going to be gathering in our living room, and uh, we call ourselves Parents Reclaiming a Youngster. One thing we all have in common is that we have children, grandchildren, that are away from God, away from the Father's house, and we're trying to pray our prodigals back home. So we call it Parents Reclaiming a Youngster, just simply pray, and that's kind of what we do. We support one another with words of encouragement, and and uh, we can just take each other's burdens to the Lord in prayer. So in just a little while, that's what we're going to be doing, but I wanted to spend a few minutes with you today. It seemed like as it came to my mind a while ago that somewhere, I can't remember the scripture reference back in the book of Exodus, I suppose, where Moses said, let me see thy glory, O Lord, or something to that effect. He wanted to witness the glory of God. Well, I was thinking about how we do that every day. We see God's glory in creation. I marvel at the beauty of creation, the fascination of creation. I look out into this beautiful world in which we live today. I believe that uh, it is the glory of the Lord that uh, shines round about us through the mighty works of creation. It's not just the plant life that we see in the animal life that we observe, but look into the uh, planetary, planetary system. And, and if it's daytime, you look up and you see that sun that's burning brightly, unless there's a cloud cover, of course. Go out at nighttime and look up at the moon 240,000 miles away and the stars that are twinkling in the sky. I believe that all through creation, we see the glory of the Lord. God has certainly revealed his glory through the mighty work of, of creation. And this old earth is a beautiful earth. It's a fascinating place. And I see God's glory in all of that. Sitting in our sitting room earlier today, I'd been out doing some wheat eating and came in to sit down to cool off and just looking out through the French doors out onto our deck where we have uh, beautiful flowers and bird feeders. I saw all the little birds that are fl flittering around and, and enjoying the bird seed that we put out for them. Little hummingbird as it zooms around and, and uh, sucks the nectar out of the hummingbird feeders. I see the glory of God in all of that. But there's another way that we see the glory of God, and that is through redeemed souls. We've had association with good people today, people that once were lost in sin, people that some of them had lived quite despicable lives. I know we meet up with people every day who if their past were revealed, we would just be shocked at some of the things that they've done and uh, some of the sins they've committed, some of the heinous uh, deeds that they have done. And I know today that the world is full of fallen men, men that are living under the curse of sin and held under the power of Satan. And I look out into a world, certainly, where uh, many people are lost without God, servants of Satan, uh, bound to, to fleshly habits and, and addiction and, and it seemed like, you know, that even though sometimes they'd like to live a better life, they just seem so powerless in making the changes that they'd like to make. But there's the plan of redemption. I see the glory of God in every soul that has been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And when Christ came and purchased our redemption, certainly it was a mighty revelation of God's glory. And every Christian that you see whose life has been changed, whose life is transformed by the power of God, is certainly a glimpse of his glory. Heavenly Father, all around us, we see the glory of the Lord. We don't have to pray that you will show us your glory. We just open our eyes through the beauty and fascination of creation. Lord, through the redemption of lost souls and transforming power, we see the glory of God. Thank you for your glory. Bless us throughout the day and on down throughout life. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Well, thanks for letting me share, and I'll see you tomorrow on Lower Life's Devotional here with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.